Rodney from Tacoma, Washington. Do you think wrestlers like Dolph Ziggler could benefit from being thrown into the NXT mix for an extended period of time with a possible title run as a way of saving their characters or rebuilding lost momentum? Uh, I don't want Dolph Ziggler going to NXT. I'm I'm just, uh, you know, wherever Ziggler lands in the shakeup, whether it's Raw or SmackDown, that's fine. I mean, he's still an asset inside the ring. I don't really uh, see him, you know, uh, going higher than he is now, and he's not, he's not very high at the moment. I'm just over the whole Ziggler thing. I, I think it's just been so long and so many start and stop pushes and everything, and uh, I'm just over it. You know what I mean? It does nothing for me, and and his time his time came and went, and the company just didn't see him as a top guy. And whether you believe he should have been a top guy or not is uh, a matter of opinion, but they didn't see him that way, and whatever momentum he had, they killed. And it's gone, I think, gone forever. And I don't think going to NXT is going to really do much to rehabilitate him. He could go to NXT and probably have some pretty kick-ass matches with guys like Ricochet and and people like that. But um, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't send him to NXT. I would, you know, who I would send to NXT if you had a guy on the main roster who actually was somebody who still had potential but was being lost in the shuffle. Maybe they just didn't have anything for them at the moment. And it's really stalling their momentum. And no, I would not send Braun Strowman to NXT, even though he kind of fits that criteria. Uh, that's somebody who I think could benefit maybe from from going down there. Uh, how you do it, you know, it, it's a weird thing because you don't want to be, quote, sent down. You don't want to be perceived as though you're being demoted. But I, I was a big fan. You know, when they sent Tyson Kidd to NXT, man, that reinvigorated that guy's career. Him and Natalya both. You know, they went to NXT and they just, they became this great act. And Tyson Kidd had some incredible matches down there. And eventually he transitioned back to the main roster and he had the tag team with Cesaro. And he had some real momentum going before he got hurt. So I do think you could take some people from the main roster and it could benefit them to rebuild lost momentum in NXT. Um, is it going to work? I don't know. That was a different time in NXT. NXT is very different now than the way it was when Tyson Kidd was down there. Very, very different. They don't need people from the main roster. They really don't. Tyson Kidd did a lot of good for NXT back then. He was one of their top guys. They don't need uh, anybody from the main roster to come to NXT and be a top guy. They have Aleister Black and Cien Almas and Champa and Gargano and EC3 and Ricochet and a bunch of people. Um, and other people they're building, too, like a Lars Sullivan and uh, Killian Dane. So... Uh, they don't really need anybody from the main roster, but there could be one or two people with some uh, stalled momentum who I think could benefit from uh, maybe even in the shakeup this week, you know, from being uh, drafted down there. Dolph Ziggler, though, I don't see as being one of those people. He's a good hand to have at this point, but whatever momentum he had is long gone and it ain't coming back.